What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on, YouTube? It's Make Money with Wes here. Hey, listen, you finally got it. You guys have asked me over and over again, and here's the video. Here's the three-step video of what you need to do to get started in government contracting. Now, if you're new to me, you've never seen this website before, the website is www.sam.gov. What we do and what we teach at the Contracting Blueprint, which is my coaching platform, we teach people how to build six to seven figure companies in under a year with government contracting. And here's the kicker. We teach that without you doing the physical work. So let me give you guys a quick story before I get into these free three steps to get started. So a quick story. I live in Ohio. I have federal government contracts in Oregon. I have uh, porta potties in Oregon, landscaping in Oregon, uh, pickup trucks in Oregon. I have air duct cleaning in uh, Nevada. I have air duct cleaning. Actually, I'm sorry, 10 buildings in Nevada. I have three buildings in Pittsburgh, PA. I have contracts, two contracts in Ohio, dry cleaning, uh, aquarium being built, and I have multiple contracts in Florida. Now, here's the kicker. I've never left my house. I've never physically seen these sites. I've never seen the grass. I've never cleaned the toilet. But yet I get paid every single month from the federal government because I use the middleman style when it comes to government contracting. So what I want to give you guys right now for free is the three steps to get started and let's get right into it. So as you can see my screen right now, I have sam.gov open, but the link's going to be below of what you need to do to get started. Now, the first thing you I highly recommend, the first thing I highly recommend is you go get an LLC. And the website that I recommend here, let me make myself smaller here. You guys don't need me that much. The website I recommend is Inkfile. And I'm going to tell you why. Now, this is, I do have a referral link below. So you will, I mean, I am incentivized to share my link, but I was sharing Inkfile for months, 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 months before I even got approved into their affiliate program. So I do want to be full disclaimer. If you click the link below, it does a, it gives a kit back to support the channel. I do appreciate that. But with that being said, let me tell you why I support Inkfile. If you don't have a business, you want to get one started. You can go to Inkfile, you can click on LLC, and you can click on your state. If I click on Alabama, I can see that it's only $236 in Alabama because Inkfile gives you the option to just pay your state fee. No fees on top, no anything of that nature. You can just pay the state fee. Let's say you live in Arizona. You just pay $85 to start your LLC. Let's say you live in California. In California, what are you waiting for? If you're a veteran, it's free for veterans until 2023, depending when you're watching this video, but it's also only $5. There's an $800 annual fee in California, but it's $5 to start your, your LLC in California. They're desperate for getting business there. Uh, Delaware, 119. I'll do a few more. Florida. 125 Ohio is a hundred dollars. I know from sure. Uh, and then I get uh Texas, Texas, Texas. Texas is 300 Now listen, you can go to your own Secretary of State website and you can go start your LLC yourself. If you have no clue how to do it, just go use Ink File. If you've done it before, you can go do it yourself. That's my disclaimer. Now, here's my next disclaimer. Let's say you live in my home state of Ohio. You pay $100 for your LLC. If you use Ink File, if you just pay the silver plan, it's going to take about mm, three to four weeks for you to get your paperwork so you can move to step two. Okay, right now, guys, I'm in step one. Step two is next. So to expedite your process, I highly recommend you go ahead and pay for the gold plan because that way you're going to be expediting your process. You'll get your LLC in about two or uh, 24 to 48 business hours. And then you'll also get your EIN number in that process. So you are paying for the EIN number, which the EIN number is free, but you're paying for speed. So I highly recommend you go for the gold option. This platinum stuff, I don't want really to know. You don't need that stuff. But I highly recommend probably the gold option will be best. Now, here's my next step. Step one's done. I'm halfway done. Step two. And step two, you need your EIN number. Now, if you don't have your EIN number, you can get it for free by going, let's say you already have a business. You go to irs.gov, you type in EIN, and you see right here, 
apply for employer identification number. You click here, as long as you're applying online during their business hours while they're open, then you will get your EIN number instantly the day you actually apply. So again, let me recap. If you don't have an LLC right now, you want to pay the gold plan so you get your um, your art articles of incorporation and your EIN number done. If you do have an LLC already and you just don't have your EIN number, just go to irs.gov right now. Don't pay anybody for it. It's free. It's free. You can get an EIN number right now for free. Just go to irs.gov, hit apply, put your company name and the day it was founded information. Get it right now. All right, guys, you guys ready for step three? All right, step three. Go to sam.gov. Go to www.sam.gov and click get started. And how much money does the federal government charge you for sam.gov? Look, it's 100% free. Be careful if you go to Google and you type in SAM, federal government contracting, how to register on SAM. There's a lot of third-party websites that will charge you $400, $500, if not $1,000 to get started on SAM.gov when you can do it for free yourself. So step one, get your business form. And like I said, uh, LLC is not required, but we highly recommend it. If you want to do a sole proprietor, go for it. If you want to do an S Corp, C Corp, go for it. Just go get your LLC, use your home address, and also make sure that your, your the name of your company is something very general. Don't, don't overthink it. Just keep it something very general. Um, and step two was go ahead and um, get your EIN number. And step three was go ahead and register with Sam.gov. Um, now, here's my bonus step. The bonus step I recommend, and I'm going to have a link below for bonus step, step four, because um, you can use anyone you want. There's Namecheap.com. There's GoDaddy.com. There's uh, you know Google, GSuite.com. There's so many websites out there. We do not need a website in government contracting. However, you do want to go get an official email, meaning you don't want to email subcontractors using at gmail.com or at how outlook or yahoo or hotmail no 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 you want to be professional you want to go get your name at your company name.com so go to one of these links in step four it's linked below and use uh, my referral code if you want to support the channel if not no big deal or just go to g suite go anywhere just go buy your domain name that means you're buying a website name you're not putting anything on it just so you can attach an email account to it. Emails are like, I don't know, $30 a year. There you go, guys. That's it. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned. If you're not following this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. Hit the like button. Does that deserve a like, please? Does it? Okay, cool. Uh, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me make myself a little bit bigger here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.